Mile High City! You buy the crummiest house in the neighborhood and you're probably going to make money. Am I right? That's Real Estate 101. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am your host, James Wise. This is my brainchild, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. If you dig what we're doing, stick around, subscribe. And if you really dig what we're doing and you want to work with me one-on-one, like my dude T-Money's doing, uh, in the show notes under the video there, there's a link to hop on the phone with my team, and we'll get you set up. Now, T-Money moved out of Cleveland. You used to live in Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Now you live in Colorado, and you are interested in investing in real estate. But here's the thing. Here's the kicker, right? You're in Colorado, but we're not going to actually invest in Colorado, right? Now, I said at the top of the show, I said, Mile High City, you buy the lowest, crummiest, lowest price, crummiest house in the neighborhood, you're probably going to make money. That is true. But guess what? Even though you're in Colorado, you don't actually have to buy the property in Colorado. And there's a very specific reason you chose not to do this strategy in Colorado because it's more expensive man you got 90 grand to work with out there not going to do you a lot but you go back to your hometown of Cleveland it's going to do a lot but guess what bro you don't have to hop onto a plane my team we're here we're on the ground we take care of everything and I got a duplex for you cheapest duplex in the entire city Okay, entire city, cheapest duplex on the market right now, nice solid city. Let's jump into the numbers and why this deal will work for you. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Let's pull up the numbers. What you want to do, folks, in real estate is buy the most expensive house you could find. No, 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 that's not right. No, you don't want to do that. Hold on. What you want to do, what you want to do is you want to buy the cheapest house in an area, right? You don't ever want to buy the most expensive house on the street. You don't want to buy the most expensive house on the block. You don't want to buy the most expensive house in the neighborhood, right? You want to buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, right? You do that, your odds of losing money, very small, right? And this one, this is in Elyria, Ohio. It's a duplex. It is the cheapest duplex in the entire city of Elyria, okay? 140 School Street, Elyria, Ohio, 44035, 85 grand. Cheapest duplex in the whole city. There's a lot of margin for error when you buy the cheapest duplex in the entire city, folks. And it's pretty nice. I like Elyria quite a bit in the Cleveland market, about a half hour west of Cleveland. Uh, very nice, solid C-grade tenant base. Okay, We got one long-term tenant in there and another tenant uh, who moved out. Okay, Now... We're obviously going to need to fix up the unit of the tenant who moved out. To be honest with you, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. But uh, units like this, usually my team, we're looking at doing the rental for about 15k. 15k, uh, unless like something insane happens, which I didn't see in those pictures. Uh, 15k will allow us to go in uh, floors, walls. New kitchen cabinetry, Home Depot loves quality stuff, right? Get you something totally rent ready. And then, then we would have another tenant in there paying $750. And the other unit is a 2 2. That one would be a 2 1. The other unit's a 2 2. That market rent is 800 Now, the current tenant, long time tenant, they're paying $600. we are not going to kick them out, though, because that would be insane. You don't want to kick out your tenant because you want rent coming in, right? Rent needs to come in, okay? Here's a little, little tipster for y'all. All right, just like I told you, you buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, you're probably going to win. Well, here's another thing. You collect money, right? If you try to put money in your pocket as opposed to taking it out of your pocket and throwing it away, you will probably do better in this business, right? So when somebody is giving you $600, collect it until they don't, right? Here's the deal. 
This is multifamily investing, C-grade stuff. You're going to deal with turnovers. Turnovers happen. It's part of the business. You're never going to be able to be a long-term investor and not deal with turnovers. It sucks, but it's part of the game, right? So don't create an artificial turnover. Slowly work that tenant's rent up. 600 is better than no 100. 600 is better than a 15K bill to renovate their unit. Because, again, I went through both those pictures, like both units in those pictures, and neither unit really looked all that great, right? So... You would have to fucking refresh that unit as well, right? So you don't want to do that, okay? With that said, cheapest duplex in the city, I recommend you pay 85. 85, 15K in reno, 100K all in. Then you'd be having long-term 1550 a month in rent, which is a projection of 18600 a year. But, folks, you don't get to keep all that. There's expenses, fixed variable expense estimates on the chart. What you should really be thinking you're going to clear is around 93 Of your 100 k investment, only 36 comes out of your pocket. The rest is all a loan. And you'd be looking at a long-term investment of a 17% return on your money, right? Solid neighborhood. I like Galeria. We got a ton of properties out there. I think this one is a good deal. Obviously, it's the cheapest friggin' duplex in the city. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.